Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to take a look at Euro Yen. I like the idea of looking for some short opportunities on this market and the reason being is the stock markets are starting to fall. So if I just go to the S&P 500 for instance, we can see that the market is starting to pull back and if we go to that weekly time frame we can see that we had a really nice bearish close. Looks to me like we could be pulling back into the previous weekly highs which is all the way down into sort of these 320, uh, 3200 sort of areas. So looking for the potential for the market to drop back that into here and what that would suggest is a risk off movement okay so the market falling risk off currencies will gain strength and that kind of goes hand in hand with regards to dollar uh, moving higher in line with that seasonality that we looked at um, the yen potentially gaining some strength and uh, the uh, other risk currencies losing strength so we're seeing CAD for instance lose strength um, as well so what I'm looking for really is yen trades to potentially trade against weaker currencies and we could look at CAD's, uh, CAD yen for the potential uh, move just through here but I do quite like the look at the way euro yen set up especially on this weekly time frame so just looking at this you can see the market has rallied on numerous occasions and broke through the highs and closed back below the RSI is also in an overbought condition um, so that gives me a little bit of a confluence that we could see some short-term downside to the market the area that I like for the market to kind of retest is around about this 123.70 area. <clears throat> we could even stretch that up into sort of the 124 um, as it's a psychological level. So um, looking for some potential downside in here. Now just look at the daily. We can see technically obviously we're in an up trend okay um, and what I want to see is the market kind of break down a little bit further so if I go into the four hour time frame what I'm actually looking for is a potential break and close below this low just through here okay so when we look at this looking for the market to break close below look for a pullback in at that point okay so just moving down you can see the trend here consolidation breakout will give us a lower low which is what we want to see <clears throat> if the market rallies back up then look for the lower high look for that continuation to the downside okay so this is looking quite good like the idea of price going into that 124 on euro yen uh, keep an eye out on this one and uh, i'll speak to you in the next video cheers